One FM's evening session, we have a live link to the manager's office at the Mayfair, which is, uh, well, one of the long-established Glasgow music venues where playing loud and large tonight are Manic Street Preachers, and we have Richie and James. How are you? Yeah, it was, uh, All right, it's both there. Good. Tour's been going well, I understand. Yeah, yeah it's been going great. Packed out every night, kind of like... Kids going mad, etc., etc. Lots of smash things. Anyway, let's talk about the album, which is out uh, next week. Uh, Generation Terrorists. It's, I mean, eighteen tracks. Uh, when we spoke before, Richie, you said you were prolific, but I didn't, didn't really quite expect eighteen. I know it's like seventy-five minutes as well. It just uh, proves what a great band we are. <laughs> what I like about you is the modesty. <laughs> is, is this a value for money thing, or have you just got so many good songs you need to get them out? Well, we sell them for the price of a single album. You know, that was like you know, our decision, which the record company were eventually went along with. Were they mortified at first? Yeah. We just also, you know, recorded 18 songs at the moment because everybody's getting older, including us, and kind of, you know, the way we live is different, and we just want kind of like something that was a testament to um, the lifestyle that we used to lead. James, kind of, um, you're yeah. not going to... You're saying the lifestyle you used to lead, you're not going to calm down now, are you? No, it's just kind of like... It's going to get worse. It's just kind of well-seasoned travellers, all that kind of cliché rubbish, you know. The so. way you were talking there was either you're going to calm down or you're going to die soon, <laughs> you know. Well, <laughs> my <Who knows>? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> kind of, we, we always like myths and legends. So. Controversial to the end, I love it. You, you did say you were going to be bigger than Guns N' Roses. How is that strategy shaping up? Um, we don't know yet. Well, we don't know, I mean, kind of... <laughs> 20, uh, well, we always like to sense a proportion, as certain journalists, journalists said, so we're lagging behind at the moment, but oh, yeah. we might get there in two years' time. We can't be about to write a second album, we're trying to write a song for Michael Bolton at the moment. So. <laughs> <laughs> Same record label, I'm sure they were... Actually, you know, stranger things have happened, you see. You know, we, we thought it's always been one of, our, one of our ambitions to be surrounded by sicker fans, because we've always been treated like scam all our lives, so we're looking forward to it. This has not been in any way a serious conversation, uh, which is probably about right, but uh, just one serious question. I mean, Steve Brown seems to have done uh, exactly the job that you, uh, you would have hoped for uh, in recording this album. Uh, was he, was he a, a great help? Well, he just ended up a completely insane man <laughs> over the period of which he tried to record Threatening it. never to work with you again. I knew I wouldn't get a serious answer to that <laughs> no, question, Richie. He did... Um he, he was the only person in the end that believed that kind of that we you know that we were writing we were writing classic songs and kind of like he, you know he bought he he actually like followed us to the end and like a song like Motorcycle Emptiness just proves that kind of we're just as good a songwriter as anybody and he actually believed that so that's why we chose him in the end. Has the manager at the Mayfair there been buying you alcohol so far? Um, yeah, quite a lot actually. <laughs> so will you be sober by the time you get on stage? Um, I don't uh... No, you never are, really, are you? No, not no, no these days. Richie and James from Mannix on the line from the uh, the office of the manager at the Glasgow Mayfair where they're on tonight. Packed out gig, so don't go along trying to get in. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the flesh soon. OK. Thanks okay. for your time. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Bye.